Hello dreamers, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you missed me, right? <laughs> but I had to go on vacation for a while to avoid the mental burnout. At this point we are back stronger than before and ready for new projects and tutorials. Today I'll start slowly but surely with a very simple tutorial on a very important concept in animation. I'm talking about overlapping action. That animation of secondary elements, such as in this case, this thick head of hair, <laughs> that continues to move even when the head has already touched the ground. Or in my latest movie, the robot's antenna reacts to the physics of movements, creating overlapping animations. To explain it to you, we'll make a tutorial with one of these two new friendly stick guys. But before the tutorial, I wanted to give you some important news. For those who are not following the Procreate Dreams roadmap, the Savage team asked us to send our Dreams files to perform some migration operations of our files from the current version to version 2. This will soon lead us to finally have a beta, if all goes well, and maybe by the end of the year we'll finally have version 2 of Procreate Dreams. I also have a little secret that I can't reveal at the moment, and I hope it will turn into a nice surprise for you. As always, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, it's very important to continue this beautiful journey together. To discover the world of animation. There are a few errors inside this animation. In today's tutorial, we'll try to create an overlapping action on this character with the Dreams tools. And more precisely, on the movement of the torso. Here, as we see, the arms swing, creating an overlapping animation. But we'll have to do the same thing with the head. We'll redo the exercise by creating a doll of the character that will then animate in rig. So, first of all, I'm going to redraw the elements of the character, arms, legs, torso, etc., on new separate tracks, in order to create a doll to animate in rig. Let's start from the head. How good I am at tracing! What do you think? Now fill the track, ok. Let's fix the head anchor point at this point. The head must remain attached to the neck for the moment. On a new track I draw the torso. Here we do not place any anchor points because we would first have to group all the elements of the upper body. Let's continue with the arms. Let me know in the comments if you would like to have more tutorials using Stickman. We could do many things and even fight scenes. In this case, for the arms, we place the anchor point in correspondence with the shoulders. And now, same thing for the other arm. Fill the track and anchor point here. Ok. To finish, I'm going to draw the legs uh, even if for today's tutorial we won't need much of them. Now we have all the elements we need. Let's compose the doll by dividing it into groups for the animation in rig. First of all, I group all the elements. Ok, I'd say no one's was left out. <laughs> I'm hiding this, we don't need it today. I'll enlarge this one and bring it to the center. So today's goal is to create the same animation but in rig. 
and also add a head movement, here everything is a bit stiff. With the Dreams tools I will try to make the movement more fluid with the overlapping action. Before making the animations I create another group inside the main one which contains the torso parts. In this way I can fix the anchor point on the waist. As you can see there are all the elements of the torso. Let's call it the upper part. and give it a nice green color. As I was saying, anchor point here. Vamos! Let's now try to create an animation similar to this one here using the Dreams tools. We are going to work with keyframes with the Move tool and I wanted to try to create the movement of the arms with the Warp. Let's try to create this animation using the same speed as what I already did. We enter the main group and in the one marked in green I place the first keyframe at this point with the move and scale tool and rotate like this. As a first step we do the main animations then we will take care of the overlapping. I also check the trend curves for the moment it's linear. I want a more fluid movement. I change to ease in and out. Ok, now next step. Complete the animation by rotating the character to the other side. The animation I want to create will not follow perfectly what I have already done. For simplicity, for now I want the torso movement to end at one second. The animation could already be complete, but it's very rigid, this way that overlapping action come to our aid. First overlapping animation I add is on the head. Enter the group and first of all I add a keyframe corresponding to the rotation of the torso, on the head level. Same thing on the other side. At this point I then give a first rotation of the head to the right. In this way the head reacts to the rotation of the body by also moving backwards, as if we are drunk in practice. Uh. And we do the same thing on the other side. This is the animation we need, but we have to give it the right timing. Imagine moving your torso backwards, your head will not immediately rotate in the same direction, but only once you have stopped. So I move this keyframe farther forward and let's try to see what happens. This is a simple overlapping action with the torso still. The head still moves backwards, creating harmony in the animation. I'll try to move this keyframe farther forward to slow down the animation a bit. Now the movement already seems more fluid and realistic without that feeling of stiffness from before. We'll do the same thing at this point. I move back a little and change the rotation value here to 0. I'll take this a little further. And voila! To complete the overlapping animation I add another keyframe further, making the head return to position. There will be a first animation that goes to bend the arms, as you can see from here. So let's start altering an arm to do a test. At the first rotation, by moving the vertices I try to curve the shape. Surely the mesh system that we find for example on Tonsquid is much more precise. 
but uh, even here on Dreams, uh, with the Warp tool, we can do interesting things. Now I can add another keyframe where the head bounces back, and I also change the shape of the arm. Let's try to give a right shape, maybe I should have drawn the arms straight, but I'm sure I'll manage it anyway. <laughs> now bring this in line with the head animations. Ok, the first part can go, now we have to do the second swing. At the end of the rotation to the left I mark a keyframe. And then the arm with a quick swing goes to the other side. I take the starting keyframe and bring it forward. I add another keyframe corresponding to the final animation of the head. And here I'm going to alter the shape to create the overlapping action. Ok, now we do a test. Overlapping action, when a body stops, some elements such as head and arms still move. Now I repeat the process for the other arm to complete the animation. This is the final animation with both arms. The overlapping action is a part of one of 12 principles of animation. This is just a small example of how we can apply it. In the future, if you are interested, we could make more specific tutorials on the basics of animation. For those who want, write 12 in the comments, so I know that you are curious to discover the fundamentals of animation from my point of view. Since today I like to have you write something in the comments, however gets to the end of the video write dreams too. Of course, do it also if you need to ask me something and get clarifications. Thank you so much for watching and 